Well, my viewers and my subscriber, they are again with the next news with Vice Cartel. Because we all see news from what they are saying. They are saying sickly and a bag of things. Saying lie, you are talking to people in an interview live. So I have a vice note that I can make you listen to people. But when I try to send me people, I want the rest of the artists them to look and see. So when time I do the music, do the music and I preach love man. I don't glide to badness because when you drop back there, so and when things reach, you know, I cry in and news like them you come out all the while. I don't bring him down still my people because everybody make mistake. But some mistake bigger than some. As in, I say, every mistake I see him. Every mistake I see him, man. Because my people tell me not say every mistake I see him. If you throw away, I use one hammer. And me goes so up, boom. And drive in here. And gaze and lick off my finger. As in, I say, it'll lick it wrong, me you now. And you say it's a mistake. That's a one way, one mistake, you know. Then if you next one I use the hammer and miss and licking licking two <laughs> two different mistakes that man. <laughs> so the a mistake now you see him. So I'm not worried to see me people make on the ear. Cause you have a little lane pan so I don't talk to make it long themselves so when you get fed up during listening. And then I want to leave an honest comment. Down them people. Because the liar talk some holy part things are our fear. But I want thing me I say me people. Me not think me I go work with it with it where they have phone back at it because some of them back at the call and I still be a part of crime see them with me people. That I won't go to me have to send out. So I wait for you one who I say in a comment section me people. Alright. Listen what I go on. For 23 hours with a medical condition. So he would have to use a bucket and he would have to wash in that cell. He would have to do what he's doing with the 23 hours. If he uses the bathroom, he's stuck with the, his excrements, if those are the words, until um, he, at the discretion of the DCS, to release him to remove that. Okay, Isa, this is hypothetical. Yes. Cartel dropped some cash gets a phone on which he cut some tunes and checks in with the folks at, at Fox. It's happened before, so the authorities are ticked off. How should they respond when he does it again? Well, the, res the response was to put him in a $55 million cell, um, as said by the National Security Minister. What I can say is hypothetical. Cartel gets a phone does an interview, an excellent one I might add, um, airs on international media, he puts out a couple of tunes and stuff like that, but the four, no one, no inmate in our lockdowns can say, Superintendent A, I soon come back, I'm going, and this is a plug, to Flow or Digicel to buy a phone and some credit to conduct my communication business. The issue that is to be resolved is how the phone gets there. And I want to make this emphatically clear. I care zero about cell phones in prison. And here's why. The government has a duty to ensure that family life is respected, a constitutional right. When you lock up a man or a woman, his son, his brothers, sisters, mothers, fathers are also incarcerated. That family life is what you must protect by having phones on the wall that you can record um, conversations, that you can allow communication. In the absence of that, 
this will be the result and Cartel is not the first and last inmate that will have a cell phone. Isaac Buchanan had filed an injunction asking that the Department of Correctional Services be restrained from placing Cartel in solitary confinement. The parties were in court Monday, June 12, when Buchanan says he was told for the first time that Cartel was no longer in lockdown. Both sides set to return to court on June 26. I obtained a sworn medical affidavit where his private doctor notified authorities that his Graves disease and heart condition are getting worse. Those Fox interviews, did they benefit Cartel or did they put him in a difficult position vis-a-vis -vis the prison authorities. These things are a nine-day wonder. The minute that interview came out, if you're not keep mentioning it, people have forgotten about it. So perhaps those in power need to treat nine-day wonders as nine-day wonders and continue running their institutions and doing what they're doing to improve even inmate life. If you were to speak to Cartel, would you say, go ahead and do that for an interview if you have the opportunity or not? I what would your advice to him My be? advice would be absolutely to leave all of that alone. If you're not stand up for something, you're gonna fall for nothing. Made it feel sad, yes. It Expect to lose many of the privileges of freedom in a penal institution. That's the point of punishment, isn't it? Basic human rights, however, another matter entirely. Or are they? If you have contraband, you are to be punished. There's no issue about that. What you cannot do is what the Correction Act says, is that punishment, solitary confinement is what I am addressing, is a cruel and unusual punishment that mustn't be prolonged beyond 15 days. If an inmate has a medical condition, you must get permission from the medical staff to say, can this inmate sustain the physical constraints? of being in 23 hour lockdown. Is Mr. Palmer one that can sustain it? His medical doctor has said no. Looking at me, I know. Now I got this, you baby. Why? I'm out. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Cartel for some people is the never ending star. Cartel will continue to shine. Some people look at Cartel as a convicted murderer who gets away with doing Fox interviews in prison and making music in prison. And it's almost as though, yes, he's doing his time, but all of these other things are happening and the rules that apply to some people don't apply to Cartel and because of his superstar status. I'm very happy. You see both points of view. I, I, I'm happy that you say that because that, that everything you just said is completely misinformed. Because as I can say, there are persons in, in prison with the cell phones that keep Hennessy parties, that dress up, that enjoy their lives, that are on TikTok. Yes? That's, that, that is, I have, I have no words to say how unfair it is that he is being attacked as opposed to other persons. So Cartel is being singled it is, it is, out. It is, the, it is the other way around. And so when we talk about a problem that we need to fix, I will say this respectfully that the problem that we need to fix is proper pay for our DCS officers, for our police officers, for our public sector workers, so that they can feel good about the work that they do, so that they don't need to feel compromised. And to borrow from the words of our prime minister, you get what you pay for. It will never be in my mind. I will never accept that the inmate is to be blamed for a cell phone problem. I rubbish that. Government must fix the prison before they fix their pockets. Can I ask you, when you see Cartel, to ask him why he did those Fox interviews? Um, if he's still in possession of a cell phone, I'll have him call you. P.S. Cartel fans can listen out for a collab with, who else? His lawyer. Did you really drop a tune with Cartel? I must say you want to hear it, but I, I don't know. I, I saw me here. Can you give us a, a, a taste of what it would sound like? I know the intro said this, I want to for ugly people, and I intend to agree. I'm just going to leave it at that. The son of the ugly people. <laughs>